Hey everyone, this is Colin at Target Sports, your pro shop for shooters and hunters. So, um, how do we transfer guns from one person to another without having to buy a new gun at a store? Well, it used to be that if you wanted to buy or sell a gun privately, you would just take a picture of the gun or you would list it in the paper or the want ad, uh, sell it on you know any sort of forum or anything like that, and you could meet the person that you were making that transaction with anywhere and then just do the deal. You know, So hand over cash, hand over gun, everything was good to go. So after the SAFE Act, the private transaction or private transfer is now illegal, uh, so all transfers from person to person need to go through a gun shop or a dealer so that a 4473 federal background check can be done. So that's, you know, it is what it is. That's the world we live in now. And there are other states that are following suit with that. So you can't even, you know, leave New York and go on the, the border of Vermont, do it there and then come back anymore. Because I believe Vermont's on their way of, you know, copying New York for some of these laws. So what's involved on my end as a dealer to do a personal transfer? Well, I need to take that firearm in, so I take a, a driver's license or pistol permit, depending on what it is, and I log that, that firearm into my inventory. So that takes some time, That's a, a, you know, it's a process. If it's a handgun, there's an extra piece of paper that has to get done, it's called a P12 form, and I fill out the P12 form, and I send that form into the state police so that they have, you know, uh, knowledge of where that gun is now and whose possession it's in. And then I'm liable for that firearm underneath my roof and underneath my FFL for the duration of its time being here, whether it's just in and out or it's going to be here for a couple days, weeks, months, years, etc. So it's, you know, it's a, it takes up space, it takes up time, there's extra paperwork involved. Uh, and then I need to run the 4473 background check. So after the SAFE Act, Governor Cuomo made it mandatory that we collect a fee for this. So it's a $10 NICS check fee that is non-taxed, I believe. Yeah, non-taxed. It's just a $10 processing fee that we're mandated to do. Um, but that doesn't really kind of, you know, cover us for any of the time and then the, the paperwork and the responsibility of having that firearm on, in our books and uh, underneath our FFL. So certain gun shops will have a transfer fee, and we do, and ours is 40 bucks. If you're going to be transferring more than four guns, so if it's an estate or you're buying a lot of items, uh, we typically will discount each gun. $10 less than the 40. So that would be $30 per gun if it's four or more. So, you know, sometimes we get a lot of gripe from people. Why do you have to collect the transfer fee? Uh, it's an awful lot of money. It is what it is. You know, I, I have a, a small business and I've got employees and bills and, and uh, I, I need to make a living. And um, if there's a new program that's in place that needs me to provide a service, then obviously I'm going to have to do what I have to do and I'm going to make money at, at doing it. So I hope there's no hard feelings out there for people that want to do personal transfers. It's obviously a service that we will provide and we're happy to do so. And I make it less painful if you're buying a bunch of guns by discounting it $10 per gun. Um, but again, realize you know, we're just a retail business here to make a living and I've got employees that I need to make sure have dinner on their table. So continue to support us. We appreciate everyone's business. Without you, we wouldn't be here. And again, this is Colin at Target Sports. Shoot straight.